Joining RO Sports is sophomore swimmer Malin Wallace, who's been named the official Richmond County Female Athlete of the Week, presented by Moss Brothers Tire and Service. Malin, long time no see since our last interview. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So, Malin, this is your second career selection and just a couple of months here with RO Sports, uh, having also won it in cross country uh, this fall. So, first question, uh, and we'll get into some swimming specifics in a minute, but you know, you're a first year athlete in both cross country and swimming. So, just kind of describe the the similarities between the two and, and which you know, they're both very difficult I would assume uh, to perform so just kind of talk about those two sports. Um, they both have a lot of mental and physical aspects that go into it they're both very tiring and you have to have good stamina to keep up with them. Have you seen uh, your stamina improve in the pool this winter? Yes sir. Okay uh, do you have a favorite so far between the two? Um. I think running gives me more of an exercise, so I probably like running just a little bit more. Okay. Uh, so even though you're on your first uh, season with the swim team, your times have gotten better and better kind of each week, and you set your personal record in the 50 freestyle uh, last week with a time of 31.52 seconds. So what's the key to your success to keep getting better? Um, just trying to push myself a little bit harder every time and counting. I count a lot when I'm in a pool to know when to take my breaths. Okay, so it's just kind of a, it's all kind of a mental mechanism to right. kind of keep pace. Okay. Uh, what's also, what's it also like to swim in a variety of events, of events and distances? Because you do the, the 100, you do the relays, so what's all of that like? Um, sometimes it's kind of tiring, but I like it because it helps me push myself more, so like try to beat your time before or like in the same meet. Okay. Um, now, kind of shifting over to the team, uh, there are a lot of multi-sport athletes out here, Kenley Fry, uh, a lot of softball players, Kayla Hawkins. Uh, so, you know, kind of having people that you're familiar with, what's your first ex first year experience been like with the swim team? Um, it's been great so far. I really like the girls because, you know, we played multiple sports together mm -hmm. and I can't wait for the next season to come. How does the team feel about its accomplishments and, and more so the, the improvements that you guys make week to week? Um, they're proud of them. We all are. We like making improvement and getting better and better every week. Okay. Now we're going to shift over to a couple more questions, uh, a little bit about you, and, and I'm going to start with a funny one here. I asked this to Dakota, our other athlete of the week. Uh, because we're swimming and we're in the water, if you could turn into any sea animal, um, which would you turn into and why? Um, probably a shark because they're out to get you. I'll do yeah. anything they have to. Okay, <laughs> right, they're like the king of, king of the ocean? Yes. Is that a thing? Like, like a lion? Yeah. All right, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the most difficult, which event is most challenging that you participate in, and why would you give it that ranking? Um, Probably the 100 relay, because it's a 100, and it's the last race of the day, so you've already done a couple more events, and you're kind of tired. So okay. So probably the 100 relay. Would you give it a number, 1 to 10? Mmm... Probably like a seven. Seven? Yeah. Okay. So not too difficult. Uh, if you could give Rich, the Richmond swimming team a nickname other than the Lady Raiders, what would you name it? Mm, I don't know. Probably the, the Sharks. The Sharks. Yeah. The Richmond Sharks. Richmond Sharks. Out to get people. Yeah. All right, last question, Malin. Uh, your primary sport is softball, uh, so with that, that season kind of coming up in the next couple of weeks, um, how do you think swimming and cross country have helped better prepare you uh, as an athlete for softball? Um, they definitely help keep my stamina up and keep me like in shape for the season. You ready for softball? Yes, sir. You're still excited for swimming though, right? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Uh, a big thank you again to sophomore swimmer Malin Wallace, who's been named our official Richmond County Female Athlete of the Week, presented by Moss Brothers Tire and Service. Malin, good luck on Wednesday. Thank you.